Welcome everybody to Chainlinks Gaming and today we're gonna be playing some Ewok Hunt on Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's gonna be good. Played a couple rounds, it's pretty fun. I never actually started as an Ewok before. Okay, let's do this. So you have a limited charge battery and you start out with an E11. Nothing else. Uh, the battery does die a bit. You wanna find other people because there's other people up top, you can see the, there's 14 now. And there's Ewoks that try to kill you. Hold up, I can't see. And you, you wanna do that, I turned off my light right there so it can recharge and then recharges. But there are pickups. Oh shoot, that was a trap. There are traps. They don't place it, they're just there. Oh, there's the Ewok, dead now. They don't have much health, we have 200 though. Unless you get a trap and you're at 100. Yeah, look out for the skies because there's some traps up there. But yeah, there's a pickup you can get, and it's, I forgot, I don't know what it's called, but it's a better weapon, wait, oh shoot, wait, it's here, yeah, you can hear it, yeah, right here, so you pick it up, your flashlight battery is unlimited, so you don't have to recharge it, and you get an, inf an inferno grenade, I'm not gonna use that yet, so, yeah, and there's this, there's a good area, called. it's a cave, where you can, if you're the stormtroopers, you can hold up in there. It's pretty good. There's also one of these in there. It spawns in there. But right now I'm trying to find you. You want to find people, then cave. Right here, right here. Yep, the cave, I think. Yeah. But Ewoks might be in here, so. Kind of want to look out for that. Yeah, there's usually going to be people in here. Okay, also, if you're holding the door, the Ewoks have like an ability. It's like a grenade, it kind of gets people, if they're in a group, they won't be in a group no more, because it like attacks them. I'll show you later. Yeah, this, so this cave. I'm trying to find the main area of it. it. Has lots of light and stuff. Here it is. Yeah, this is the main part of the cave. Has lots of entrances. And yeah, right here. There's one of those, so I already have one, so I won't be needing one. This is not good to be in the cave alone. It's really, it's a bit dark, so yeah, the Ewoks can easily kill you if you're alone. So right now I'm trying to survive until a shuttle comes. And when the shuttle comes, you have to evacuate. But it's like a, you're at a bunch of area and not many people survive. Like, you might have survived the whole game with 15 people, but at the end, only, like, four people survive. Because when you get to the cave, like, get to the shuttle. Here we go, got some friends. Hi, people. Okay. Now, I think they might be able to follow me if they do. And get them over to the cave. If I remember where it was. Yeah, and you can see lights and stuff. Because they're E11s, they have limited light, so they have to take it off, and that's a good time for the Ewoks to attack. Right now we're looking safe. And the Ewoks, they, they don't see, like, the darkness that we see here. They don't see this, like this. They see normally. They have normal vision, like night vision and stuff. So... Yeah, like, kind of huge disadvantage. So like they could be like right there, and I couldn't even see them, but they could see me clearly. Like so, some people, if you start out in this game, you could like turn off your light, and you think that you're safe right here because I can't really see you, but really they have perfect vision. Okay, so now the transport's coming. I'm gonna get out of here. I hope. And you're running, you can't really see straight, so. Oh shoot. I haven't really seen any Ewoks. Huh. I'm gonna look up for traps because that could kill me instantly. Sweet, Ewok down.
I feel like they could base a whole game around this just game mode. Like, maybe it's like instead of Star Wars, just like normal, and there's like a monster, or like multiple monsters if like people die. Yeah, but it is fun game mode. Oh shoot! And I got killed by a trap. God darn it. Now you become the Ewok. So yeah, as I said, you have perfect vision. You have this, which is... So basically if there was troopers over there, they would get like attacked by those things. I think it does like 70 damage or something. Not much. Then you have uh, the L1 and R1 ability. Uh, basically, you can see where you can escape because there are escape routes where you can get back up into the trees. We we'll use that now. So, like right here, if I go up to this, and then, yep, and then I'm back up here. And the horn, I I think it might give you extra health. Oh no, it shows you the uh, the enemies if they're spotted. Huh. Let's do this. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is walk up to this guy. Oh shoot, throw that. You're gonna get attacked. I'm gonna... I'm gonna die. Yeah, the Ewoks don't have that much health. Think, yeah, 80, they have 80 health. And you just wanna kill all of them. Where are they at? Let's do this. Fucking like ninja. Oh, you can see the lights. See, when you're lost in the forest, that happens. So, just gonna move over here. You also move quicker, I think, with this. Oh, and they. So, it, it wants us to follow this. This is the enemy ship, right? The evac. And when we follow this, they already know where it's gonna land. So they're all uh, probably headed there. So right now I'm gonna follow that. Find out, cause they're all gonna be grouped up in one area. Oh shoot, they're gonna make it. We gotta kill them. Die! Kill, kill him, kill him, kill him! No survivors! Now we have to hold this door because the shuttle's only there for a limited time. You lose if, oh, like one person gets on, if you're an Ewok. Yeah, the shuttle's only there for a limited time, so that guy right there didn't make it because he didn't get on the shuttle. Yeah, pretty fun game mode. Well, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, uh, comment, all that good stuff.